Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details Webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Uh, first things first, risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Uh, for more information, go to bookmap.com and uh, there is a free trial uh, that is available for 14 days. Uh, once you sign up for that free trial, you have access to a lot of the um, free um, resources at Bookmap. Uh, for example, the advanced order flow webinar uh, that starts uh, in about 30 minutes and uh, and there's a, a lot of other resources as well. So you've got nothing to lose with the free trial. It's 14 days. See if you like it. Uh, if not, let us know and um, uh, we'll cancel it. Any uh, in, uh, questions that you have, you can reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. Okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, let me show you where you can find it. Okay, so uh, at, if you go to bookmap.com uh, here, uh, click on Explore. Okay, you can. This is where you signed up. I imagine for the uh, for the free webinar here uh, that you are already attending. Once you're a member, you can you can click here. Uh, let's click on Explore. We'll come down. There's some intro videos here. So if you're brand new uh, to Bookmap, then uh, I would. Um, uh, recommend watching some of these intro videos so you get a feel for what bookmap is uh, and then let's scroll down here uh, so we're going to go down to uh, you can see some of our partners uh, so these are some of the um, uh, broker partners uh, that we have and um, you can connect uh, bookmap via uh, a lot of these uh, uh, broker partners here okay uh, you will need to have a data provider okay bookmap is a platform we're not a data provider so uh, you can see the uh, ways that you can connect Bookmap here uh, through Stage 5, for example. Uh, they offer uh, uh, Stage 5 Bookmap, uh, but they also offer many different uh, connectivity um, uh, uh, or ways of connecting Bookmap here through Gain Capital, CQG, Rhythmic, etc. Okay, so for example, if you also uh, use NinjaTrader, well, you can connect Bookmap via the API of NinjaTrader, but just note that Bookmap is a platform on its own, uh, just like Ninja. So uh, if you are connecting your Ninja through Rhythmic or CQG, well, you can just use your uh, credentials for Rhythmic or CQG and plug it right into Bookmap uh, and bypass the API of Ninja. Okay, that's the same with uh, Trading Technologies, uh, TT uh, XTrader Pro. Uh, it goes through the API. Uh, and then that's also the same for the interactive brokers. It goes through the API of the Trader Workstation platform uh, from interactive brokers. Now, other data feeds, as you can see here, we've got CQG, Rhythmic, Gain, IQ Feed, Transact, uh, and then Dev Experts here uh, is for um, uh, the bookmap uh, for equities, U.S. equities. And uh, I can answer any questions there that you have about uh, US equities. I have some markets uh, that we can take a look at as well. So let me know if you have any questions on that. Uh, and then also through Tradeavate. Tradeavate is web-based, uh, but uh, we also offer uh, uh, the con connectivity through through Tradeavate. So here's where you find Bookmap. All right, so uh, under the pricing tab here, there's two, well, there's three versions, um, uh, or there's different features for the, the for the uh, for book map there's the basic advanced and the quant okay so uh, the basic version uh, you, you know you can see here uh, 14 day trial period uh, is 49 per month it is billed quarterly though okay so uh, it's basically be uh, 147 for three months uh, and then there's the book map advanced that's 99 per month now the difference between the two uh, are the add-ons and the ability to trade right from the chart in book map which is a nice advantage uh, and then you can see all these add-on indicators that you get uh, there are some other differences as well uh, but these add-on indicators uh, are more geared for the order flow uh, and not uh, your typical you know moving average or st stochastics or RSI it's much more uh, geared toward order flow there are um, uh, things that we've developed over the years here like the iceberg detector, order book and balance, volume and balance, large lot tracker, looking for larger players, etc. cetera. Uh, and then uh, there's book map for quants, uh, and uh, you can uh, click here to learn more about that uh, and look into some of the quant features. 
Okay, so that's book map. Uh, let's see here. Uh, other resources, or uh, you, you can follow us here on Twitter, as you can see. Uh, and then there's uh, the book map uh, YouTube page. Uh, you can subscribe, and when new uh, videos are uploaded, you can uh, you can get alerted for that. I uh, just want to show you a few different things. Uh, first is the uh, there's an intro video here, as you can see, and then there's features and components. Uh, there's a playlist. This is a playlist here. Uh, so you can click on this playlist or you can watch each one individually and continue to scroll here, uh, as you can see. Uh, it just goes through all the different features and components in Bookmap. Okay. Uh, order flow video uh, snippets here. They're very short and concise, but they go through uh, order flow phenomena uh, that Bookmap visualizes. This is gets more into how to trade uh, using Bookmap. Okay, what book map is showing you and how to utilize it. This is what we go through in the advanced order flow uh, live webinars uh, that uh, that start at 11 Eastern. Okay, you have to be in trial or a current customer to have access to those. Uh, and then uh, you can see down here, just this is all of the, uh, these are all of the webinars from last week that were recorded from our Pro Trader webinar series. Uh, we have uh, a list of professional traders here. Uh, that use uh, Bookmap, and uh, you can see how they use it. Okay, and uh, for those of you who are not in trial yet, and you want to get a feel for what those um, live order flow advanced webinars look like, uh, you can access some of these here. Okay, and then we have a professional trader here as well, uh, a futures trader 71. If you want to watch some of these and see how he uses Bookmap, all right. That's it. So let's get into book map here. All right. Uh, and uh, just uh, seeing a lot of uh, activity here due to uh, some of the fundamentals uh, in Europe and uh, the uh, dollar strength coming into the market. Um, wasn't sure really what to cover here. Let's let's take a look at the ES, I think, um, or oil. Uh, oil market is uh, pretty, pretty, um, pretty active, too. Uh, due to that dollar strength coming into the market. Uh, but we're, what we're going to do here is we're just going to go through the basics in Bookmap. Uh, I, I see a lot of new uh, faces in here in the webinar. So we're just going to uh, start with what is this stuff? Uh, what is Bookmap showing you? Okay, because there's a lot of components here. Now, that said, it's actually really, really straightforward stuff. Uh, this is not uh, uh, some sort of... Um, uh, derivative of time, price, or volume. It is truly a, in a very objective view of the market, all right? And I'll get into that here. So I'm going to uh, close down uh, some of the, there's an uh, indicator panel that we have there for cumulative volume delta. I'm going to close that. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's, we'll stick with oil, all right? So let's, uh, let's take a look here. Um, Okay, so I'm going to take off uh, a lot of the uh, uh, information here. Okay, no indicators, no heat map. Okay, and uh, we're just going to put on candlesticks. Okay, and I'm going to change the candlestick to not one minute, but let's look at five minutes. Okay, good. All right, so most of us are very familiar looking at this view here. Okay, we have um, five minute candlestick chart of, uh, of crude oil. And um, uh, we, you know, you can see the wicks, you can see the bodies. Now, the problem with the candlestick chart uh, is um, when we look at this, we're only looking at four data points per every five minute period. Open, high, low, and close, okay? Candlesticks are pretty good, and you can start to read like, some of the buying pressure down here with the wicks, okay? And you start to see some of the candles here. Uh, that's not bad, but there is just loads of data here, uh, very insightful data uh, that is missing in this candlestick chart, and we have no access to it whatsoever. For example, we have no idea what kind of volume took place down here, where it took place, uh, and, uh, and how much. Okay, we have a volume subchart here, as you can see, uh, but um, uh, still, it doesn't uh, make those distinctions in the volume. We want to understand that, and it's going to lead to much more insightful trading decisions. OK, 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on first off this just the historical best bid and offer. Okay, this alone is already quite helpful uh, because uh, now uh, the candlestick uh, chart uh, is is going to show that five minute period, but there's all sorts of trading activity that took place within that five minute period, uh, and I can show you exactly what I mean here. Uh, so um, uh, let's take a look. Uh, right in this little microstructural area here, there's some insight, and the candlestick the candlestick chart is not showing it. All right, so uh, let's zoom into this area here. What I'm going to do is I'm click on the move tool here, the hand. I'm going to hover over this area, and uh, I'm going to zoom in. Instead of using the zoom tools up here, I can just very quickly use my center mouse wheel and scroll in. Okay, so now you can see I've uh, uh, zoomed in here, and between each vertical dotted line, we're looking at one minute of data. Okay, here's our last five minute candle. And then all of this data here comprises this candle, okay, in the historical best bid and offer. Historical best bid is the green line. Historical best offer is the red. All right, so what I what I see here already in this little microstructural area here that is completely lacking in the candlestick is I see uh, some activity in this area here, okay, and, uh, and then I can see that uh, we accepted above this little microstructural area and we continue to the upside. This is where we're going to see the buyers, I imagine. Okay, we're going to turn on the volume here in just a minute, but we're probably going to see in this area here uh, the aggressive buyers stepping into the market. Okay, and that's where we're going to get the insight in Bookmap. Okay, we can see here, okay, you can look at uh, uh, this microstructure uh, as I zoom out a little bit. And uh, now you're starting to see a clearer picture of that. And we're going to see a shift probably in the volume up in this area. Okay. Uh, so let's let's do that. Let's turn on the volume dots. And here we go. All right. So <clears throat> we can see the uh, move to the downside, some sideways action here. Uh, real quick move to the downside and then right back up. And actually uh, this area here, uh, it, it, we, we can see it. We can see the aggressor uh, come in here uh, in this area and pull price up. But look at this cluster up here. There's a lot of buying up in this area. There's a lot of activity up in this area. Okay. Uh, and um, uh, we can uh, we can zoom in here and get a, a real feel for it uh, and uh, know exactly uh, if we uh, have more buyers than sellers. And we can just look at the volume dots. Okay. What are these volume dots telling me? Okay. Well, let's go over that. Uh, the volume dot is uh, it's it's showing you here the aggressor. Okay, so there are so many trades that took place in in these areas here that we actually have to divide it up and show you the overall delta using this pie display dot here. And it shows you that, uh, for example, in this little dot here, you can see that there is more buying than there is selling. Okay, not a whole lot more, but there is more buying. Okay, the pie display shows that. All right, so uh, now I can continue to zoom into this area, and uh, this is uh, an important distinction in Bookmap. Let's hold, left click, hold, and drag, and let me continue to zoom in here. Note how I'm pulling apart all of that trading activity, and I'm showing you exactly what occurred here. Okay, we'll continue to zoom in here, and I'll continue to zoom into this dot here, this uh, flurry of activity, and what we're going to see is exactly what occurred here okay now look at the timeline down here and we're at the microsecond level okay so uh what occurred here was an aggressive buyer uh, they came into the market and uh and they lifted the offer very quickly okay 53 contracts traded in this area here i know that uh in our volume profile here uh it shows me okay and let me get rid of the vwap here just so you can see it without that white line. And uh, I can, I'm also showing you exactly that uh, it's all green here. So we know that this is the aggressive buyer. Green dot is an aggressive market buy order. Okay, we use the aggressor classification of volume displayed here in book map. Uh, why is this considered aggressive? Because they crossed the spread, uh, they want it into the market and they hit the market buy button. Okay, that is aggressive compared to limit orders waiting at specific price levels to deal. Okay, so uh, a green dot always takes place 
on the historical uh, best offer and it takes liquidity from the best offer. It took uh, 53 contracts out of these 131 here. Okay, uh, we'll get into the the, um, the dome here in just a minute. Okay, now let's zoom out here and note how when I zoom out, I consolidate all of that volume into one big dot. Okay, now we can use this rollover tool, hover over it, and it, it shows me exactly what occurred here. We already verified it was 53, uh, but if I hover over this dot, what we get is the date, the time, the uh, what was on the ask here, which we already knew as well, which was 131 contracts at 51.26, okay, the price level, and the volume at this price level, which was 53 contracts. Okay, now 92 here is showing you the uh, a lot more trading activity, but uh, we'll continue to zoom out here, and uh, here here's what the 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 aggressive sell looks like. Okay, uh, hitting the bid. Okay, let's zoom into this area. So this is for 14 contracts here, uh, but uh, most likely it's going to be broken into several contracts, and it is, or several orders. Okay, this was actually for looks like uh, a volume. Uh, of nine contracts, but it looks like that was just one one trade uh, event. Okay, we can find out exactly if I make a new column here, okay, and I'm going to make this. I'm going to turn this into a, a different data type, a trades counter. Okay, now it's showing me exactly what occurred here. Trades counter is showing me one trade took place within this viewable range for a volume of nine. Okay, so. Why I'm going through this detail, because we don't trade at these levels, you know, millisecond or microsecond level, uh, but we want to see uh, what exactly occurred in some of these areas. Uh, maybe you want to see and debrief your trading. You have every single event here uh, recorded. It's all here. Okay. Now, as I zoom out, you're going to start to notice the pie display. Okay, and it gives you the overall delta and understanding of what occurred at these areas. Why is this important? Okay, this is important because uh, if you're looking at like a footprint chart uh, or volume profile, uh, this is going to be aggregated. Okay, and uh, you're going to miss uh, a lot of detail that is insightful. Microstructural areas being broken and accepting above those areas. Okay, and uh, that's where Bookmap uh, is helpful uh, and gives you a, a leg up here because uh, we can see, for example, uh, in this little area right here. Well, we can see that uh, the aggressor came in, they lifted the offer, and look at the look at the uh, the retests right here in this little area. Where did it retest? Right where they found these buyers. Okay, these buyers come back in and support it. Um, well, they they did up here. Okay. Uh, and they and they lifted the offer further, and we get price discovery to the upside. Okay, down here the sellers really kind of dried up. We see what 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 exactly occurred here? Well, we have volume of five, uh, one, and one. Okay, so you know very few contracts traded here. Uh, they were not interested in taking on these buyers, uh, and um, and the buyer stepped right back in and lifted the uh, lifted the offer further. Okay, that's what occurred here. All right. Uh, and we have all of that detail. Now, uh, we've just gone through just the traded volume. OK, there there is a whole nother side to the order flow here that we haven't covered. OK, and that is the uh, the limit order book. OK, so let's go to the current market now and take a look. OK, let me get out of the uh, data tip tool uh, in the current market. Uh, and let me close one of these columns here. All right, there we go. Okay, so the COB um, uh, column right here, this is the current order book. All right, now I've got it, uh, you, you can just right click in this area here and you can format it different ways. Uh, and um, you can see the different data types here as well. So I've got current order book selected. This is the dome and book map. Okay, to understand the, um, the limit order book, uh, usually we just, we go to the dome, uh, and we have that data here. Uh, what's going on in the dome here? Well, these are traders lined up to deal at these specific price levels. Okay. We can see the numbers here, 210 contracts up here at, uh, 5140. All right. These numbers change all day long. Okay. 
Uh, here's your best bid and offer, current market right now. Okay, it's also reflected in this window here. Okay, this is your best bid and offer right now. And this is the last traded volume. Okay, so we see bullish activity still coming into this market, right? Uh, and um, and they're trying to lift the offer and uh, maybe get up here above this swing. Well, we'll see. Uh, the um, uh, We want to understand uh, and consume this data here in the dome uh, just to understand where they're providing liquidity, okay? Where the seller's lined up. It gives a lot of insight uh, and the buyer's lined up too, uh, where they uh, want to deal. And uh, it's it's um, it gives you that, uh, that insight uh, that uh, if, if, for example, you see there's a wall of liquidity here, okay, a lot of sellers, and they're staying in the book, that's giving you insight. You, you've identified the sellers, okay. Usually, we see that here in the dome. Now, the problem with the dome is that the, the data here, it once it refreshes, and that data is gone, okay. It's great for understanding the current order book, but uh, if you want to understand uh, what those areas were like previously, you'd have to memorize it. Okay, that's where Bookmap solves this issue. Okay, because we record the um, the the uh, limit order book. Okay, and how we do that? Okay, it's in this window here. Okay, here's our best bid and offer, last traded volume, and it's with the heat map. Okay, the grayscale. So right away, looking at the grayscale heat map, I know where there's high liquidity. 51.40, and um, and we just tested through this area here at uh, 36. Okay, so it looks like they want to come up here and test these guys up here at 51.40, uh, and um, uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll we'll get into a little bit of analysis here. We don't have much time left, uh, but um, uh, the uh, uh, what occurs here is is the high numbers here uh, in the limit order book. Uh, are given a, uh, a bright area, right? That's the way the heat map uh, operates. Now, you can adjust for it over here with the um, uh, contrast configurations, okay? And there's also a quick little slider here that uh, will do it for you as well. Uh, and um, uh, get what we want it to do is get an overall feeling of some of these areas of high liquidity and how they're behaving at these areas, okay? So... Um, uh, that's done with the heat map. Okay, now you can see how these these uh, the heat map and the numbers change all the time. Okay, so where this gets really interesting uh, is the um, and now we're coming up in in just one one tick away from 5140. Uh, it looks like we're going to test it. Okay, so was that magical? No, it was just you know understanding the the order flow and understanding the liquidity. Okay, and it uh, looks like uh, wanted to test it here. Okay, now it didn't, they didn't even come into it right now. So in interesting stuff there. I thought for sure we'd, we'd take them on, but we'll see. We'll get another, let's see if we get another rotation here. Um, and um, uh, anyway, the um, uh, where this gets really interesting and insightful is that we record this data, okay, historically. So areas of high liquidity, uh, or any liquidity here, when you see the heat map change and these numbers change, that's recorded, okay? So what does that recording look like? Well, it's these striations here, like in the heat map, okay? So for example, coming down to a, a quick sell-off uh, from uh, 39 down to uh, 5130, all right? So uh, the, the buyers didn't take these guys on it at 5140, uh, but Look at the, uh, they're starting to get uh, interested here at uh, 5130. They're coming back into the book. So these striations here, using the data tip tool, uh, you can see we had uh, liquidity here on the bid, 169 contracts, okay? And then it got uh, a little darker here very uh, quickly, just down to 164. And then it got brighter again, 169, 162. And then look at this little bright area here, it went up to 176. Okay. Now, as price is coming down, these guys jump back into the book with 215 contracts. Okay. That gives you the insight. You can start to understand the behavior of these guys providing liquidity at 5130. They're showing buying interest here. Okay. 
And that's where uh, Bookmap can help you because you can start to understand the behavior of these traders here and their interest and their intent to trade. Okay, so uh, we're putting all of those pieces together now with the intent to trade from the, the limit order book and the historical limit order book and the traded volume. Okay, and that gives you that complete picture of the order flow. All right. Okay, so uh, at this point, uh, we can probably turn off the candlesticks and uh, just look at uh, and turn on the add-on indicators as well. Uh, some of the add-on indicators, what we're showing here, uh, gives insight as well. Okay, and uh, let me let me cover that. So, for example, uh, look at this little area up here. Okay, we just came into this area one tick away from this high liquidity. Well, we have a pretty big iceberg order that uh, kicked off here. All right, I see 225 contracts up at this area here, uh, a little bit below actually, uh, maybe 38 or 30, yeah, it looks like 38. There was hidden liquidity here, okay? Uh, there was an iceberg order and we identified it with our add-on indicator. Okay, that adds another layer of confluence and insight to these areas in the order flow. Okay, looked pretty aggressive. We saw, we were looking for them to come up and test 5140. Well, now I have more insight. Right before that area, 225 contracts. And in oil, in the crude oil, this is pretty significant. All right, uh, that's quite a few. So they're hiding their liquidity here getting filled without providing it in the limit order book and we have an, a quick sell-off and rotation 10 cents okay so uh, uh now uh, it's a good you know it's a good example of uh, some of the insights that we're getting up at some of these levels here okay i thought we would test 5140 well now i understand why we didn't uh, because they're getting filled beforehand this is kind of a a, a trick uh that you see a lot of times uh, that um, uh, they will front run this area with their iceberg orders. Uh, and you see the aggressive buyers trying to get up to that liquidity here, but they're getting filled here uh, at 38 instead. Okay. Uh, you'll see tricks like this or, you know, insights like this all the time. Uh, and um, that's just basically how the, how the market operates. Okay. All right, guys. Well, uh, yeah. Thanks for coming. Uh, and uh, let's uh, we'll we'll call it a, a day here. Uh, if you are already subscribed to the uh, to the product or in trial, uh, then I'll see you in just the next minute, uh, right over in the um, uh, advanced uh, order flow analysis. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye bye.